I'm Maya Sargent, your neighborhood reporter in Northwest Tallahassee. I'm live at Godby High School, which is usually full of students, but today it's full of these dehumidifiers. They're extracting all of the water that came flooding into Godby after the recent bad weather. And I just want to take you inside a classroom really quickly so you can see the efforts going on. Furniture has been pushed aside to repair all of the damage, extract all of the water to make things safe. Teams have been working tirelessly yesterday, today, and will be working throughout the weekend. I've been tracking other community efforts, helping neighbors out as well. It's all hands on deck at Godby High School. That's after Thursday's early morning weather caused water damage in over 70% of the campus, says Principal Desmond Cole. You have to assess, mobilize, and figure out what, what, needs to be, what needs to happen. And the community stepped up in full force. What can we do to help? That's what, I, that's what I've, we've gotten over the last 24 hours. Principal Cole tells me they've received support from so many people, including Leon County Schools and Maintenance, construction crews, and our community. It's made it possible to go from this to this in just over 24 hours. Superintendent of Leon County Schools, Rocky Hanna, says 95% of the water has already been extracted. But we'll continue to work late tonight and throughout the course of the weekend. Hanna says they're estimating damage repair will cost around a quarter of a million dollars. To support students while out of school, LCS handed out breakfast and lunches Friday at spots in our neighborhood. <laughs> Superintendent Hannah says they'll make a decision on Saturday about whether or not to reopen Godby on Monday. In Northwest Tallahassee, Mayor Sargent, ABC 27.